Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Sussex Saturday on Tuesday, what I affectionately call Talk Tuesday. I am VS Speaks Royally. I welcome you all in, even the crazies that are in the sky. Yes, I welcome you. Um, I'm not sure if this is trash time, um, you know, Twisted Trash Time Part 1. It may be, yes, because just I got some some things to say. So anyway, I hope you all are doing well. Did you all enjoy the eclipse yesterday? For those who could see it, who couldn't see it. I mean, it did get, it got a little darker, but um, while the sun was still out, it's very odd to explain it. Um, I had my husband calling me, oh my gosh, the sky is this color. I'm like, uh, hello. <laughs> but the earth stayed still for us here. So that's the most important thing. And the moon and the sun kept on doing what they needed to do and didn't just stop. So we're all in good, good form today, I do hope. Um, so hello, 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 everyone. All right. <clears throat> Let me go on and get into it. <sighs> Let me get to my little part. Here we go. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act. 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. And just so you know, because you're probably going to hear it in the background, yes, there is a detector that is like we have vaulted ceilings way up at the top. Why they put it there, I don't know. So y'all have to bear with the little beep here and there. Hopefully it doesn't drive you as insane as it has me in the last 24 hours. So, all right, that's all out of the way. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Better up, just a reminder that is coming up tomorrow and, wait a minute. Yeah, tomorrow and Thursday. And it's sold out from my understanding, what I've seen on the app formerly known as. And so should be a very, very good time. Um, they had this event uplift last year, I believe. And so they are having it again. Harry is the chief impact officer at Better Up, if you did not know that. And look who else is going to be. Now, I, I would love to hear her speak. Um, and just tell her story. So let me just take my banner down because it probably has a little bit. It just shows you she's like one of the 2024 speakers, Tracy Ellis Ross. So I like her um, from Girlfriends as well as, you know, the movie that she was in that I absolutely love. I'm just saying. So that I think was a little take on her mom, but. Um, she showed off her talents of singing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, moving on along. Squatty Corner, not much to share in Squatty Corner. As you know, there is a channel store. There's channel merch. There's Trash Time merch. Hopefully you all get out there and see what's out there and, you know, buy something if you so choose. I don't have any cash apps to, to say thank you to, and I don't think I have any um other than the the comments that i highlighted and fancy fancy you were the first comment that um for today's live stream so mm, to you all right um pre-trash time didn't get out to look for baby deranger you know baby deranger takes long naps now so um i may see baby deranger i may not i thought i saw something with sinky but um, Sinky tags a lot of people, so I, I would have to kind of blur all that out. I just, it wasn't the mindset to do all that. So, um, so I'm going to just quickly jump into comments, scan and see if there's anything I need to see here. Minsky, how are you? Um, before we get into, yeah, because um, the British media, aka um, the royal family, aka all the crazies out there leave the two minor american children alone and i shouldn't have to state who they are you already know but leave them alone now the articles are coming up in trash time most of you are aware of this um 
Oh, and we're going to touch on Scammy too. Yours, because she, she's catching heat and hellfire is about to rain down on her from the derangers. Woo! My gosh, they are not pleased with her right now. So woo! it's interesting, but she deserves each and every second of it. All right. Anyway, let me scan the comments. Um, everybody's just saying hello to each other. Uh, you followed the, Minsky says, followed the eclipse on NASA a lot. Yeah. I was kind of watching, I had several different live streams, different people who were in different points of the globe. Um, and then kind of just watching it happen and then CNN, you know, that type of thing. But yeah, Lorna says, sure, so they are solar eclipse glasses, not long range x-ray glasses. <laughs> I don't even want to know what she probably said up top because, you know, you know, telling. I bet you if you, Church Nelly, I'll say this now. If they said, put these on and you'll see Nacho, you'd be done glued them to your face. <laughs> you would. You sure would. And be looking up at the sun each and every moment. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, Karen, how are you? Okay, you're here. Kuja's ready to get into it, I see. Kuja's ready to get into it. Rhonda says, hello, everyone. Just getting here. Whose wig we snatching today? Oh, there's a long line of them. Long line, long line. Folks are just crazy. That's that's the only thing I can say. We know these articles that come out from the British media, aka the mouthpieces of the British royal family, are sanctioned. We know Harry and Meghan don't have anything to do with the media over there. So, you know... The fact that y'all are sitting around talking about two minor American children is disgusting, but we know how things go over there. Mm -hmm. And that's all, y'all. Most of you catch what I just said or caught what I just said, and I'm going to move on before I say something really bad. Okay. <laughs> Marshar. Dark Specter needs to stop and go away while she's behind. Keep on spec. Ooh, F A F O. I tell you what. I tell you what. Um, Terry is saying too many believe in old wives tale when eclipse occurs because of ignorance on ast astronomy, LOL. Yeah. Well, sadly, some folks have found out the real, the real deal. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have to just laugh. Kivia. <laughs> oh, you're right on time. Sometimes I tell you my phone and I just picked it up because it vibrated. Woo! my goodness. All right. So Church Nelly is trying to, to let Megan know that she needs to take a cue from the Laura Ingalls um, clap back. I'll put it that way to Nelly Olson way back. And that it is a classic scene. I will say a little house on the prairie. Hopefully you all have seen it, but she provided the link if you haven't. Okay. And then she's saying, Harry, take a hint from James Bond when dealing with scammy. Jesus. <laughs> Which one, though? Which moment of James Bond? I mean, you know. <laughs> it's definitely not the lover side of James Bond, that's for sure. Oof, never. Um, and then T. Mac is saying, Church Nilla, she can only, I guess you're saying appeal, but it isn't going nowhere. Some people just don't know when they are defeated. Yeah, scammy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Oh, we're going to talk about it. We're going to, I'm going to show you some of the clapback she's receiving, rightly so. Blue Draws, thank you for the super sticker. Kivia, thank you for the cash app. This is for both of you, although I only have, you know, I'm only able to show Blue Draws on this. Y'all know how it is. Cash apps, just not able to share on the screen. All right, here we go. You're making it rain, 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 rain down on me. Mm. Mm. To Kivia and Blue Drawers, thank you so very, 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 very much for the love. Dropping it early. Mm. <laughs> Woo, y'all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. I just want to acknowledge the Cash App so she knows. Yes, I see it. And I acknowledge, right? Oh, I just love these things when technology does not want to work the way you need it to work. Okay, there we go. Okay. I do acknowledge when I see them. All righty, let's come back over. 
Yeah, T-Max, she's at it again. Allegedly at it again. I, I don't know what anyone wants to make of it. Hey, Scratch and Pete, how are you? 1998, how you doing? Okay, okay. Um, T-Mac, she's already sitting down. Okay, I, I can't clean that up any... I, if I say more, I'm going to be in much more trouble. So I'm just going to come over here, come to the marker so we can get into the discussion. Yes, all right. Here we it's go. your favorite time. Trash time, trash time, trash time. So yesterday I had went into the app formerly known as and was surprised to see, and it's only here because of the other names listed, but when I saw Archie trending and I I was like, this cannot have anything to do with these children, please. While there was other information, the majority was related to Prince Archie. Not cool. All right. So Prince Philip, Daily Mail, Andrew, yeah. Uh, 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 and, uh. Okay. Anyway, go in and I saw a headline and was like, oh, I have to save this because I may decide to discuss it, but it seems that I need to because I keep seeing the same dreadful headline. And um, yeah, so this particular mouthpiece for the royal family decided to do an article. This is a bigger screen um, shot of it, but. Um, on Saturday the 6th. So Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet will never be working royals after Prince Harry's betrayal. And I believe we discussed it on, on that time and whew, for Sussex Saturday and just saying true, they won't be working royals. Why it's in, they make it sound like, oh, we're gonna punish them. That is not a punishment, okay? Not being locked into that prison of a firm over there is not a punishment. I mean, you have seen where they live, right? Okay. <laughs> Why would they want to ever give that up or the potential for their future? You know, um, these children's trust funds are going to get mighty big because you tabloids just won't leave them nor their parents alone. And you know, Mama and Papa Bear don't play when it comes to their children. Okay. So the idiot, you know, here was another screenshot and just saying, you know, Archie a little bit will never be working royals after parents betrayal, betrayal. Now there was a lot of commentary under here, which I just take screenshots and keep it moving. I did see where people were like betrayal. So saving the life of his wife, child, and any future children um, is not a betrayal saying that this is not something I wanted to do. Harry was saying that when he was a teenager, before he even, I don't even think he was dating the first known girlfriend at the time, and he could have been, and maybe they were on hiatus, you know, how those things go. Mm -hmm. And so Harry had been saying for the longest that he didn't want this, and this was having to sit down with those media people that he knew would turn every little word upside down and twist it around and all that stuff. He has a long memory and knows what you've done and did to his mother. He hasn't forgotten that. But I said, okay, you know, let me, let me keep on looking through. And then I see, and it's the same heifer again, well, being polite in a sense. Inside Prince Archie's most monumental year yet, as he starts school and, quote, returns to UK. Leave these children alone. Leave them alone. You didn't want, y'all want Harry and the kids mm -hmm, to be the workhorses, I guess. But, you know, in, in a not so nice way, y'all are saying F Megan. That's that's what y'all are trying to say. The biracial American can go F off. That's really what you all are saying. Harry told you he's a package deal. They are a team. 
He has a family, his wife and children. Don't you worry about him coming back over there for y'all. Now, if y'all really, if y'all really keep it up and then he winds up having to be the regent, woo, wouldn't that be something? Mm -hmm. Just saying. Y'all won't be screaming and crying over the damn security anymore. But anyway, just leave the kids alone. Stop fantasizing, because that's what I was going to put in the title. The the We know how some of them over there like the youngins. Stop fantasizing over these two children. Stop daydreaming. Stop, you know, ooh, I wonder. No, we don't want to hear it. Just stop. It's disgusting. Y'all have some major issues, major issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just leave them alone and don't even think about trying to stalk and and go to the school because I think they will sue the bajeeps out of y'all. Okay. They're private citizens over here in the U.S. Leave them alone. All right. Moving on. So... It's always everyone but Megan. So Megan's launch of the American Riviera Orchard overshadowed Prince Harry's work as her timing comes under fire. It's only coming under fire from the mouthpieces of the British royal family. Sway, sway, stay swaying so much that we haven't seen him in, I don't know when, oh, the Commonwealth Service. Mm -hmm. Because I don't believe he was at Easter. He probably should have been. I guess he was scared somebody might resurrect. Woo! Okay, chase him right on up out of there. Mm. <laughs> Woo! He kind of needs a little, a little um, visit from beyond. Mm. But you know, let me, let me, mm, let me. <laughs> Just understand, Megan doesn't overshadow her husband. Y'all act like they don't talk and know each other's schedules and what projects they're working on together as well as solo. But they're always, it's always a family, a them thing, you know, unlike the others over there, over there, over there, over there. So, (sighs) scammy. Mm -hmm. Get your life. Get your wheels, get whatever you need, and roll off. Now, your lawsuit was dismissed with prejudice. That's really, you know, you've come to the end of the road, but you still go on. Cut it out, Scamantha. Cut it out. So I saw this, I said, ooh, and I know people are like, oh, ignore the sad little man. Well, I wanted to highlight this only from the standpoint of it didn't get the response that I think they thought it was going to get. Okay, so the maggot has breaking. SM has today officially filed her appeal in defamation case against her sister, Megan, over untrue comments made on Netflix and Oprah interview, which those were dis- those counts were dismissed with prejudice. How are you going to peel that shit? Okay. Um, her lawyer, Tinkles, I'm calling him Tinkles, is planning on asking Catherine to provide a witness statement. And then that right there has sent the derangers coming after the wheeled one. Okay. <laughs> Cause um yeah, they don't mind if Scammy drags Megan and says all this stuff, but how dare she? And that was the sentiment. How dare you? Yes, I think you've overstepped your um your place, Scammy. Uh, don't be on the edge of a tall mountain and the derangers behind you, cause they're gonna push you for this one. Oh yes, they're gonna get you. Whoop, whoopsie daisy is what they're going to say. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, Woody Woo, of course, promoting his channel. I wouldn't go to it, but I took the screenshot and it just says, you know, late queen called Megan evil. Donald Trump's lawyer reveals 
Did you speak to the queen? Did you hear the queen say that directly? Because if you are a true licensed attorney with your sane mind, but given who your client might be, I doubt that you are. Hearsay don't usually hold up, sir. So tinkles, go get your tinkled self together. All right. Hmm. So, um, you know, the maggot had to further elaborate, just saying, you know, SM stresses Catherine's cancer recovery is priority. Oh, but she can release, she can release that she's, you know, filing an appeal. She's the one suing Megan. Megan's not suing her. So don't try to turn the tables as if Megan's had something to do with this because, you know, the one thing she wants is to be left alone. Okay. SM allegedly said this. I think it's important everyone know that this was out there by my attorney before anyone was aware of her health challenges. We want to be respectful of that and her recovery is a priority, which your lawsuit has nothing to do with Catherine, but now you've looped her and that crazy family into it. <laughs> so a lot of questions were being asked along this timeline as to who's paying those legal fees. Mm -hmm. We've asked that ourselves. Yours. But um, <laughs> let me just show you the reaction of most. So this one took me clear out. <laughs> a witness statement from a woman that hasn't been seen in person since last December. <laughs> and I shouldn't laugh, but it's the damn truth. Well, who are you fooling? Okay. Maybe, maybe that one that was in the video on the bench can show up and provide a statement for you. That one talked very clear where the other one usually doesn't, but okay. Another statement is a little slow. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. It is, oh, this is it right here. So proof in point, they were just going through and just saying each and every statement is not actionable. Like it was dismissed with prejudice. It's protected. Now, this is what the judge said. Each and every statement is not actionable, either because it is a protected opinion. You know, we do have opinions that we can say. You might not like them, but okay. Substantially true based on judicially noticed evidence, not capable of being considered defamatory, or because plaintiff is precluded from meeting the actual malice standard. See, there's some things she has to have in place to actually claim defamation, and she couldn't prove it because it doesn't exist. Meanwhile, if the tables were turned, honey child, you would have been found guilty. Boom. I do believe, um, just based on all the crazy ish that you put out on, on um, yeah, social media. So let me go out here. I need to see if I have that one comment and it didn't get overrode, but I think it did. But hold on a second. I think I could get to it really quickly. Let me look in my trash. <laughs> Let me check the trash for the trash because I need that one screenshot because it it kind of set the tone and I was like, oh, she's going to catch some pure D hill for um, including, including. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, let me save this one. Um, okay, I'll save this one. Yours. All right. Now, let me bring it across. Okay. And voila. This is the sentiment that is seen throughout that timeline of the maggot. Catherine doesn't need this shit. And then it's like, how dare you include? So the reaction that they expected, like people going after Megan, uh, and a lot of people were like, but you're suing her. Like, why, why are you including? Oh, you know that old saying? Um, we need to teach the, the British royal family this one. You lie down with dogs, you get fleas. Because, honey, they covered in them. They're covered in them. 
This one is the finale of the comments because I was scrolling through and reading and chuckling, taking some screenshots here and there, but this one took me out. So the person said, a witness statement to what? Samantha wants Kate to write a statement that Megan is not a good person and that she lies. The comment here. <laughs> but we know Kate lies too, don't we? <laughs> Whoa, this ain't the energy that the maggot, scammy, and anybody else involved with this sham of a lawsuit that thinks they're going to appeal and get anywhere in the court. It is a waste of money, but hey appeal on if you wish. Um, it wasn't like you won some points. You were your every point that or every count that you had in your three versions of a lawsuit were dismissed with prejudice. So good luck. Good luck, Sammy. I wish you the best. Oh Nelly, there she goes. See. Kuja wishes, Kuja wishes you the best too, wishes she could take a little bite out of you, but hey. Um, this troll, we know this name when we see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she appeared on the timeline. So when I was searching before I went down that one rabbit hole anyway, it really disturbs me that people with pictures of the Princess of Wales in their profile spend time talking about Meghan and Harry. It's so disrespectful to our royal family to keep talking about those that have left. Be Catherine fans, not haters of Meghan and Harry. I said, oh my God, <laughs> wait a minute. Between the earthquake, the, the eclipse, I'm like, woo. You know, it is Mercury retrograde right now too. Um, Ah, somebody must have hacked this person's account, but nevertheless, I got a good, they spoke the truth. They do troll the royal family. So it is 100% true. Like why? Why do y'all have her picture and then come over and troll, you know, Megan doesn't, speaks volumes for those that you claim you support, mm, right? Mm. Um, this is an interesting headline because <clears throat> I thought y'all were trying to put out nicey headlines. Wouldn't you going after her mooms affect her somehow? I'm just, so this headline says Kate Middleton. Woo! You're not using her title. All right. Kate Middleton's mom faces devastating business debt as she supports a daughter through cancer. What about the man that's pictured next to the mom? Why is it all on the mum's shoulders? It was her solo. It was her solo business. I thought it was both of their business, but with no husband, this mum was successful in marrying off her daughters and son to very wealthy people. They can't fork over nothing to you. Mm, speaks volumes. Grifters, grifters, grifters. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Guess word on the street about, um, you know, certain debt being paid off for silence. I guess it's not really true because this headline just seems to be coming out of nowhere. Um, it's just kind of, really? Y'all want stuff like this out instead of, headlines should be just, we should be inundated, although I, I have certain names muted on the app formerly known as, but inundated with nothing but headlines about her. I did see a video that most of the reaction from the squad was like, is this a tribute or memorial video? Because I guess it was giving everybody the feels of it being a memorial of the two people that were called out for being concerned about the unborn Sussex baby pigment at the time. Mm -hmm. You all should be able to catch up to that. <laughs> um, I wanna remind KP is no longer a trusted source. It never has been for squad, but it's not a trusted source. So therefore someone who Again, these headlines, 
y'all need to be turning that energy around because the more you come after the venom for Megan, sicker some people probably will get. I'm just going to say that. So now I had to look at the date on this because you know how I am. It says April 6, 2024. Because when I saw pecking order, I was like, oh, this has got to be an old article. And then I looked at the date. I said, what the? Ooh, Megan and Kate are treated differently. Oh, y'all trying to recollections vary. Well, no, they were treated differently. And it's very obvious. Um, she was loved, but I know where it all went wrong, royal expert claims. Mm. Megan has done nothing wrong except fall in love with the ginger avenger, as we sweetly call him. That's all the biracial American did, who is very proud of her heritage and, and doesn't as some of you crazies try to say, that she um, doesn't acknowledge that her black side, so to speak. And it's like, um, do you watch anything on Megan? She's never tried to hide that. Just oddballs. But pecking order, that's all that they're concerned with, the pecking order. Someone in this picture has probably already been pecked by Peggington, sway, sway in my opinion. All right, let me let me keep on flowing. But have no fear. The great ones are here. Prince Prince Edward and Sophie stand in for King Charles during historic changing of the god. He who dropped out of basic training from what I understand. That's something I read and I was just like, "Oh, poor thing. Poor Tink Tink." Um yeah, he uh <laughs> They stood in so proudly. Mm -hmm. Someone was wearing, trying to do a messy bun. I'm not showing a picture. If it happens to show up, it shows up, but I'm not gonna show her picture. Um, but I, I thought they had new titles. They don't like to call them the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. What happened? Because um, <laughs> he was never styled Prince Edward. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on. I mean, he was when he was younger, but once he married and did get a dukedom. Mm -hmm. And then his older brother made him wait for how long before he gave it to him? Mm, interesting. The petties over there, the petties. So... <laughs> I want you all to get your lives over there, truly. So there's many messages in this headline. The prospect of ascending the throne is causing Prince William and Kate Middleton intense anxiety. He has known since the time he was born where he was going to be ascending. And she has known since her mother could say, you must do everything you can to marry him. She has known that he was going to be ascending. Mm -hmm. So now all of a sudden, it's causing them intense anxiety. Intense anxiety. Is that what we call a pint now? Because I understand they both got down with the pints. Okay, just saying. Um, let me see. Uh, yeah, I'd probably deleted the video when he's telling her drink more. Yeah, so, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Where, where, where is he, by the way? Has anyone seen him lately? Because now we're on a time watch to see him. Do we need to start a clock? <laughs> Do we need to start a watch clock? I mean, honestly, we really don't get it. Yeah. But it is very odd. He's not king yet, so he shouldn't be working be quietly behind the scenes. I mean, you know, that's what you want Megan to do. Megan's not involved with anything y'all do. Oh, ascending to the throne. I like how they didn't even, you know, really use their, they use their titles or their styling in the small print down there. Whew. 
they've been ready since, you know, QE2 passed because, you know, she was decked out in diamonds, dripping in diamonds and had her black smoky eyes. And, you know, he's just like, oh, I got my feathery robe on. I mean, you know, kissed his father. He can't wait to for it to be his turn. <laughs> Unless something major happens that, you know, hey. she the, again, they've known where their next step would be. So now why have this intense anxiety? He said that he was going to work quietly and not be, you know, going to do an engagements and all that. Mm hmm. He can sway a whole lot more. That's what that means. And, you know, we have no clue what she has to say because December 25th, 2023, years last time. Okay. Um, I just wanted to show this so that people know. This is, um, as he's called, on <laughs> Baron's Lord Nappy Head. So, you know, many have said he needs to have his DNA checked because as hateful as he is towards black brown folks mm -hmm. some curls mm -hmm. yeah. okay let me go on so it's lord rothmar um and he's the daily fail owner so it goes through how he lives in monaco and he pays taxes in france um identifies as french and that um you know Daily Fail is registered in Bermuda and pays no taxes anywhere. But he's, that's his patriotism. Mm. He wreaks hell in the country and has wrecked many lives just by whom he has, you know, it is his paper. So, you know, is he running day to day? Probably not, but he should know what's happening. I mean, he rakes in the money, that's for sure. From all that I've seen, but you know, when you got Sway Sway or Swulio as a pal, a pegging pal, you know, life is grand. Life is so, so grand. So a troll tried to get the better of everybody. As you can see, the picture. And so only if Harry can overturn a home office ruling stating he is not immediately entitled to police protection when in the UK will he feel comfortable bringing Megan, Archie, and Lilibet to the UK. Wah, wah, wah. B.S. They never are coming, so. And hallelujah that they're never coming. There you go. I'm just going to say they're never coming. But y'all can stop the headlines about them never being working royals. Um, they won't have to worry about being working royals because their older cousins that are in the, um, the air to the air and the spare to the air <laughs> and the spare spare to the air um, to be. When they're having kids, it, it's a wrap. So, you know, unless they're all barren or something. I don't know. But anyway, the math is not mathing for the crazies over there. But, oh, the lady in black. Yes. She's got her list just grows each and every second with more names. she got more names than Santa Claus has on his list. How about that? But she does some work. Okay, she does some work. And as I always say, the middle finger energy is always up and stuck to the British royal family and their mouthpieces because they just and just will not leave Harry and Meghan. And now they want to start talking about Archie and Lilibet. Where are they? We need to see them. You know, all the other bigger trolls are starting that crap. Just go sit down, change your diapers, and leave the Sussexes alone okay although you know if you're really in the mood you can have some pizza i see lady c that's her title or name that she goes by lady c is is pushing some um domino's pizza all right here we go all right let me jump into the comments Woo! it's over 300 comments lord of mercy i don't know if i'll get through all of them but you know how it is all righty um 
let me come up. I'm going to pick a spot, and then I'm going to work my way down. And, of course, if you posted something um, above the point that I start, then just drop it again. Church and go ahead and play with American courts if you dare scam each other. All it is is just going to take the money. I mean, you know, I, I just don't get why you – it's just to make – put them – put her name back out in the public. But of course, since she had to go and make, you know, try, oh, we can't come in. Honey, them, them folks is not pleased. Now, if they put you, <laughs> if they put you out of the camp, oh, well, so swell. Good luck with that. Mm -hmm. Blue draw is the wheeled one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, Hattie says, shows who is behind this issue. Yes, it does. Um, I do have a feeling hmm, some bills aren't paid, the legal ones. Somebody's going to start talking because they will, they seem to be they, um, non Megan Markles are the ones that will rat you out. That's for sure for a quick dollar. Let me see. Hattie says they really need to stop using these dead people who can't defend themselves. Maybe the queen needs to show up. Maybe Philip needs to show up. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> Woo, Joyce. Um, the maggot is trying to get his channel off the ground using Scammy and Angela Latrine. Mm. I would have thought that, you know, he had such a huge following on his other gigs that they would have just floated over. But it is disgusting to know that, you know, the views that he would get. Although, you know, if the channel gets reported enough because enough is enough with the crap that you spread. And yeah, anyway. Um, Karen says, we already know that Prince Harry said that the Queen and Philip did Zoom calls to them, so that man's statement is false. That part. That part. Yes. Hey, Navi, how are you? Yes. Thankfully, we know, and I'm glad they were able to tell their story because the narrative coming out just, just, it's astonishing at times, though. Marshar, H will become like an enraged lion pouncing on and ripping apart a Giselle if the British media attacks his kids. We really see, who we really will see a side of him that would surprise even Megan. They better leave the kids alone. True. They always say, never poke a ginger. But see, they haven't seen that side of Megan either. That Leah will come. What? Oh, okay. I mean, they had to get that one paparazzi company straightened out who um, wanted to snap pictures in the backyard. Yours, who's no longer in business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Someone knew. Megan's sister is in somebody's pocket to keep harassing Megan. Who was paying her lawyer? Yours. That's what everybody wants to know. That's what we want to know. And a lot of people on that timeline. Um, were asking, and most were like the Rangers were asking, who's paying this? Why are you starting and why? Because only because she's now um, in their own crazy ass way dragged the absent lady into it. So, mm -hmm. and they, I'm telling you, that was the worst move she made, but I'm glad she did it. You know, you think you're playing chess. Ah, you can't even play checkers. Let me see. Joyce says, I mean, little Max says, Joyce, um, exactly. If we ignore him, maybe the channel will be a failure. He would go away, hopefully to jail. That part. Um, I'm sure he'll get big numbers and, you know, check and all that stuff. If you could get him blocked in the U.S. would be even better because he could just talk into the void to himself. Uh, <laughs> Oh, God. Anna E., I see your comment. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to choose to whoo, write over that one. <laughs> the 
Dawn, is AI Kate going to make another appearance? Probably. Um, see, they didn't program in the stuttering and mumbling and all that. Otherwise, we would have all been like, okay, yep, that was her. It took 50 minutes to do a five-minute, um, you know, little speech. And she sat there all by herself after she took uh, alleged um saying that she had doctored the picture that her husband allegedly took but he won't release the real one or the original sure wink wink sway sway mm. we know you like to bury things mm -hmm. kim says marsha harry won't have anything to tear apart if mama bear megan gets to them first You're... it's the duo it's the duo the two of them together that's a force to be reckoned with. And yes, we'll do everything in their power to protect their children. The headlines don't ever need to mention them. Y'all ignore them when their birthday rolls around. You ignore them for the longest time. Only time that you want to mention them is when you're complaining, like when they were styled as prince and princess, which is their birthright as the children of the current monarch or the grandchildren of the current monarch. So, you know, mm -hmm. although, you know, he was trying his best to change that out, and he knew he couldn't. Uh, T Max Scammy is sad because she can't handle rejection. No, that scam sad is not the word. Psychotic, really, truly, would be a better fit. Because her daughter in the Netflix docuseries gave you a hint as to how she behaved when she was hearing Megan's name. So, yeah, it's not sad at all. Whew. Scary, yours. Um, and each church only some don't even know who they are. They are desperate because no one gives a shit about them. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Now, for Church Nelly to say this, you have caught her off guard. Damn, Anna, tell us how you really feel. Yes. Um, Boney, how are you? Someone new. Samantha is just to keep Megan in the news. She's not going to win, but whoever is paying for her lawyer wants to keep Megan in the news. Yes. Someone with some uh, big, hefty pockets. Hmm, perhaps that a duchy is taken care of paying for? Hmm, hmm. Just asking those questions because um, Megan's going to be just fine, as will Harry and as will the children. You know, folks don't need to worry about them either. You know, mm hmm. Mm hmm. I, I, we all can surmise someone new who is paying for that. Karen says, what could Kate say that they were not friends or close to each other? Basically. Because you knew if, <laughs> if those folks over there are crazy enough to even release any type of statement, they do like to interfere with lawsuits. We already know that because, you know, Sway Sway gave his permission for his, at the time, communications head to go and try to say he helped Megan write the letter to her father. Therefore, it was okay to share the letter. Mm -hmm. So we know they like to interfere with lawsuits trying to get them out. And this one, they don't want to interfere because they... <laughs> Definitely don't want to be locked into that. Mm, but I am. Um, yeah. <laughs> there will be plenty of evidence. You know, the vault of the receipts from Squad will pull out how it was put out in a headline that Recollections May Vary was her statement in the official release from Buckingham Palace after the Oprah interview. And um, she just could not be bothered with Megan, you know. Remember baby brain and how dare you, you don't know me. Yeah. 
it's just ridiculous. Obviously, I would think Scammy would know this type of information and Tinkles, her attorney, don't seem to understand. Research, don't you have paralegals? Research, mm, okay, just gonna come on down here. Lorna says, Via speaks, by including Kate, Scammy is going to get destroyed by KP and Buckingham Palace. Just sit back and watch them protect Kate. Because if they don't, it's really going to fall on Sway Sway. He who controls the purse strings, okay, because we know it is not cosplay or the absent lady because uh, her parents would have been out of debt by now. Ooh, all right. My goodness. Goodness. Okay. Let me. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Okay. So, Dawn is saying only, <laughs> only dogs lay with dogs, so they're already flea, flea infested beasts. True. <laughs> Dawn. Woo, my goodness. Marshar Kim, oh, for sure. Mama Bear Megan will finish them off as Harry hunts them down and drag them out by their feet. They truly are a team and a force that never will be denied. Exactly. You know, they were very, like both of them wanted that family that they have created, but we know that they both had to have been very intentional in knowing what their children would have to be protected from, maybe not to the degree that they see it happening. Um, but yeah, thank God for the freedom flight that was provided by Lily Bet's godfather. Okay. Whew. Um, Anna E. Church and Lee, I've been watching independent journals that had a topic about them, 25,000 on chat. They didn't give a shit about them, and that's the truth. Why? Ooh. Ooh, my goodness. Well, I mean, it's only in their minds over there, the ones over there. It's in their minds that they are, you know, they are the best, but they only want a certain narrative out. If you're going to be seen as real people, then, you know, all the dirt needs to come out and just be done with it. Thankfully, Harry, you know, y'all put so much dirt out on him. He didn't even have a chance to, you know, sneeze. And y'all were like, oh, look at that booger over there. So um, Harry is Harry's good. That's why y'all have nothing on him now, dummies. All right. <laughs> Church Nelly, I knew you would love to hear Kuja. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Lakivia, Kate lied about the photo girl by, yes, that part. Go ahead and try to get a statement because it, it, I would say this to Megan's attorneys, don't try to be nice. <laughs> Your client might be the sweetheart. Just don't, don't try to be nice in the filings in your answer. Just don't try to be nice. Just provide the proof because it's all documented in the, the headlines and such. Now, if they come back to say, oh, how can you believe that? Well, all these headlines about Megan, you want folks to believe. So now we're not to believe what we see about the royal family, like the perfect royal family, the happily married, mm -hmm. but folks living in separate homes. Okay. Mm. <sighs> Allegedly. Wendy says, scammy. She really thinks she is family and connected to royalty. So damn delusional. I mean, if they... You know her goat really must be cooked when she sees the um, Hollywood gatherings that Megan has been invited to. Because Kevin Costner invited them and they were the special guests. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she was at one point wanting to be an actress. Mm -hmm. I'm just going. Whew. <laughs> Ooh, Church and Ellie, we're just at about time. The fans of psychotic and neurotic needs to focus on them, not the Sussexes. Yeah, but you know that's only a short, short, short term because the media know that they they can't sell anything unless their names, our faves' names, are in the title or a picture of them when they have nothing to do with the article. So. 
Kim says, Marshar, time for the Sussexes to send out some legal notices. When Harry and Meghan go to court, they don't lose. Yours. We all know that, you know, <clears throat> there was some chatter going on that quickly, quickly changed. You know, when you saw Rhoda like, oh, you know, we didn't, This is, that's not what we meant. That was how they kind of came out to say, and it was around the time before that announcement was made, so to speak. So, um, you know, especially after the branding, Ari don't play. So y'all go ahead on and think y'all gonna mess with her if you wish. Um, in addition to Harry being like position, we know Harry has fought sidewalks for his wife. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> he has fought sidewalks for his wife. So you know he would go to the inns for the captain of his soul. Okay. All right. Some folks need to wish they could even have a taste of that type of love. Mm. Kid says, VS Bella is saying, why is Scammy going for a round three of court suits to have her peach? I'll say it nicely. Hand it again. Yeah, so. True. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, we I think we all kind of knew because when it was dismissed with prejudice and we were all doing our victory lap, she did say, I'm going to appeal. We were all like, but for what? <laughs> because you can't, you can appeal, like she can appeal the, the last complaint that was to dismiss with prejudice, but you can't submit any new evidence. You can't submit a letter from somebody who had no standing in the suit and you didn't mention anywhere along the way. So yeah, good luck with that. It's just a waste of whoever's money. I mean, if she was smart, she would be trying to, you know, line her pockets a little bit, I would think. You can't even be smart in that regard. Whew. Anne says, Kate being drawn in in this, never mentioned in lawsuit before. Exactly. I thought it was between Samantha and her sister Law. It's Samantha draining the swamp. Samantha's lawyers are creaming off this um, stupid woman. Yeah. I chuckled and I was like, oh, thank you. That was a gift. Look, y'all, that was an early Christmas birthday gift for all of us. Because, yeah, the derangers are not standing for it. So. I wish her all the best with her former cohorts. Okay. Rhonda says, not mom using the diagnosis to skirt her bills. <laughs> <laughs> Them bills were in uh, default before her daughter came out with, alleged daughter came out with that whole, I mean, remember mom was driving around in a five-wheel car and we're supposed to believe, you know, She's so, so, you know, I hope that like the, the debtors are going to go easy on her. Listen, them calls don't stop. They want their money. Okay, let me shut up. Leave, leave the grifters alone. Grifters. Um, Uh-oh. Hello to everyone. Can't chat, chat. Internet is cutting out. Oh, no. Tear. Lakeavia VS, we love you. Kate's mother and father are broke, just my opinion. Oh, they were broke before they, you know, they grifted into. Like I said, she's her son married wealthy. Hopefully that girl was smart enough to have a prenup. I'm just because I don't know if there's prenups in place for cosplay or her her sister i would think that you know folks that come from that type of money because regardless if the claims are that their parents had money it still wasn't enough to compare to what um sway sway the sister's husband and the brother's wife family have so should have had prenups um little mac interesting the article uses kate yours not Catherine. 
years. Also, <laughs> why always putting women in negative light? Why not include Michael Middleton was co-owner of Party Pieces? That was my question, little Mac. But it is the um, mouthpieces of the British royal family, and we already know how they feel about women. Or should we say the courtiers, how they feel? Because, you know, allegedly the queen wasn't running things. Even when she became queen, there was a whole to do over women running anything in their minds. Marsha, Kim, exactly. Harry and Meghan may have sent out cease and desist letters to the Rangers because stupid articles on the kids doesn't last that long. They better leave those kids alone. You just leave them alone. It's disgusting. We know they have a over there. No family seems to have a thing for youngins, but you leave them children alone. They are not coming over there. Someone had, I did see someone had one of the trolls like, I want to see their birth certificates. Um, well, Archie's everybody has seen because it was released. I want to say it was released by the, the um, palace. You know, Harry filed it and then it was released and then they went and changed it. I don't think they ever changed it back because they removed Megan's name off of it. Talking about there was an error or something. No, there was no error. Y'all were trying it. See, y'all thought she would have checked out. So anybody could have been the Duchess of Sussex if Harry had remarried. And, and you know, Megan's name's not to be found. We know you evil mother. Oh, excuse me. As my boss would say, mother fathers. Whew, my goodness. Okay, Lorna. Mia speaks royally, Carol. <laughs> Middle mess cannot even pay the receivers that handled her company bankruptcy. Um, it seems like I'm. Sh Listen, those folks had to have known she didn't have no money. So I don't feel too sorry for them, but I mean, don't they usually get their money up front? <laughs> All right, let me let me go on down this list. Ann Lewis says earthquake, tornadoes, and eclipse. Many people are having a meltdown. Sure. They better go on. Life goes on. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Church Nelly. Stevie Wonder could see that Megan was treated very differently than cosplay. Yes. Very, very differently. So much so that when Squad was talking about it on the app, formerly known as that many of the tweets that squad and the conversations then went someone took it and made it an article and that's how it really got out there but still it was like you should have given credit to squad don't try to cheat um and get around because you know squad let the person know um uh, yes hello v um, hey, y'all, these fools are desperate for niece and nephew pick. Yeah, but they're gonna, just going to have to be um, desperate. All right, let me come on down. Woo, y'all been dropping love, my lordy be. Oh, look at y'all. How sweet. Oh, thank y'all. Okay, now, blue drawers. I thought you had given our... Did, See, this is this is why I have to now I have to go up here and look, make sure I'm not imagining, because I I don't know if I cleared out. Oh, I can't see it. It won't let me go all the way to the top of the chat. Dag on this thing. Okay. Oh well. Oh well, so swell. Let me come over here. Whew. Let me take this comment. All right. So I believe this. Either you gave again or I just did not clear it out. I like to clear them out because y'all like to punk me sometimes. So I'm going to thank you again, Blue Draws. All right. Um, Elaine, you've been a member for two years. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And said so thanks for all you do to you. One of our rare UKers that, you know, the same, funny, lovable. Okay. Sussex love, how are you? Thank you for the super sticker royal family. Paying for scammies lawyers can't stop. <laughs> yes. First she wound up telling everything. Before she tells everything. Thank you for the super sticker. Elaine, thank you for the super sticker. 
Judy, thank you for the super sticker. Mm -hmm. Raffaella, grazie, grazie, grazie. Thank you for the super sticker. Mm -hmm. And then Sylvia, look at you. Thank you for the super sticker. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is for <laughs> this is for all of you. Whew. Made myself tired. <laughs> Whoa, you're making it rain, 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 rain down on me. Whoa. All right, see, couldn't even get to my spot good. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you all so very much. Okay, let me hit this and we're just going to clear out so that way I don't get all befuddled in case someone else tries to sneak in. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, yes, there you go, Idolina. Dickinson should be missing, um, should be the missing jewels of the 600 charities that the Queen left that nobody's concerned about. Now, see, that is where they're, that's where, <laughs> that's where their attention should be. I am so done. Anna E, that Hot Wheels comment. Oh. <sighs> Okay, let me get it together. Let me come back over here. <laughs> Y'all are a mess today. Ooh, Blue Drawer says, where are the whales, clan? That part. What is this tomfoolery distraction? Leave the Sussex family alone. Real love looks like the Sussexes. So that's my question. Where the hell are they? All of them. Like, yes, yeah, somebody could be going through treatment. Aren't the kids going to school? to school aren't you taking them to school supposedly sway sway and you know you could do it without any help although we know you have a staff or she has a staff somebody has a staff maybe they split the staff since they had a staff of 60 when they were at kp and they maybe they split them out i don't know but okay um <laughs> idolina behave yourself <laughs> Shouldn't it be um, concerned about the movie coming out over the nonce? Well, some people, I, I believe some squatties have watched it. I have not. Um, I'd rather watch Harry and Meghan on Netflix than to watch that that mess. But yeah. Dolores, the fact that Harry and Meghan love and live together with their children is making them crazy. There's so much I could say about that. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do? I'm coming back over here. That's going to be the comment that I highlight when I close out the stream because you know how I like to. Let me star it so I can get to it. Where did it go? Here it is right here. I'm going to star that because you yes, that that's the comment that. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, Dawn, welcome to channel membership. All right, this is for you. New channel member. New channel member! New channel member! Welcome, 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 welcome! I appreciate it that you want to hit your wagon to mine and um, have decided to give that additional support to the channel, myself, and just love you much for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Woo, I got to get it together and get... Um, get more emojis memberships the it's a, a nice amount in membership and i want to um get a little bit mm -hmm, some more emojis for y'all to sit there and spam the chat with all right but welcome 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 dawn all right let me see if there's any other comments let me come over <sighs> Oh, me, oh, my, oh, my, oh, me. Ah, <laughs> oh, Lord, y'all are cracking me up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, I should have that as the last one. What is Kate going to say that they're friends and they've been long lost friends and, you know, she tried to instill such love and devotion into Megan and, you know, give motherly advice, although I never have seen my niece by marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, the dum de dums. The dum de dum de dum de dums. I'm just moving through, so I'm probably. Oh, look at this. Kim is saying, uh, Marshar, did you just go to Pink Floyd on me? <laughs> Leave them kids alone. Remember that wall? Yes. 
<laughs> that was high school time for me. Yes, I've aged myself. But um, that's why I clicked. I'm like, what? Pink Floyd, what? Mm, okay. Little Mac, all right, let me come on down. I'm like, that was a comment that I happened to see as I was coming through the comments again. Oh, yes. That blue drawer is making as a line as yes. She's already shown how she'll get down when it comes down to her children. And at the time, it was just Archie, but taking the pictures mm -hmm. when they were out years and I guess it was a paparazzi that was not in the U.S. because most in the U.S. know the deal. Don't with the kids. Okay. Um, there's enough laws that have been put in place because people have been harassed and, and such for far too long. But um, Kuja is standing here waiting. I thought she was going to start in, but. Let me see. Um, Sonia, the queen planned a super secret visit for Harry, Meghan, and the children to visit her. Go figure. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. They came in, visit. If we ever are privileged to see those pictures, maybe they will show up in a book somewhere along the way. But we know it was mentioned in a book. So um, those that impeded the quote last visit uh -huh. may that energy come back to y'all ten thousand fold or... <sighs> uh, <laughs> y'all are cracking me up let me see lorna remember um dw owns shares in gb news the channel that fired him oh oh <laughs> So he gets paid anyway, although the, it seems to be like it's failing. Mm -hmm. People were going, having a good time with him, with his um, aliases, and was like, is this you? <laughs> <laughs> or did you check with, I think it was Martin. Yeah, I just had to fall out laughing. I'm telling you, he's catching, he's catching fire, and the other one that he allegedly interviewed the attorney for is catching fire let me tell you um that part and harry megan children are not the new scapegoats or media fodder they continue rolling out william and kate kids they set the screen to use their kids to cover up the incompetence well mm. Mm. we ain't seen high in the hair of that entire household family households however you want to look at it um, Karen says, no matter the circumstances, if a case is dismissed with prejudice, it cannot be brought back in court. The case is done. Let her go on believing what she wants to believe it to keep her busy for a little while. She's trying to make headlines. It's just not going to work because especially here in the U.S., you know, the media is like, are you for real? They probably use another F word before the for real, but... <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Um, Foxy, that is so true. Scammy isn't trying to sue her daughter because she knows what she is doing. Yes. As does the entire sane world when they really take a deep look, you know, underneath the wheels, you can see who's behind this fiasco. So, mm -mm -mm -mm. um, <laughs> Be safe, Sylvia. Be safe. Thank you again for the super sticker. Ah, oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Some of y'all caught that. Okay. Anne says, who said the Sussex kids will be going to the to school in the UK? The royal family scarcely acknowledged them. This is another clickbait headline. Yes. Yes, it is. They want that to happen, you know, but mm -mm, they are free. And they have um, British adjacent schools here in the US that, you know, Archie and Lilibet can get all the little culture that they need that they don't get from their own father at school, mm -hmm. if that's what they choose to, to have as part of their education. Ha, <laughs> Elaine. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> 
Hashtag not my royal family. Okay. For those that like to say, oh, you don't live over here, so you don't have a right to... She does, and she can, and she has said what she said. She said it with a full chest, too. Okay. There you go. Uh, let me see. What time is it? Ooh, we're over an hour. See, y'all don't tell me. Ooh, Val, you know, you're at an hour. You need to You need to go on. Um, Rhonda? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rhonda says, if our attorney keeps filing frivolous lawsuits, he could get in trouble with the courts, which I believe he's already had that issue. But, you know, some people have hard heads and he probably likes kicks in his soft behind. So he gets thrill out of it. He gets the joy out of it. Um, Idolina, she cannot appeal with prejudice means you can never bring that or anything like that similar to, um, to that back to court. Right. Again, you're talking about the maggot who has, should have knowledge of U.S. courts, but does not. Um, you know, the media. And <clears throat> I'll just say that Tinkles probably has even less knowledge than we do it appears but i think he was in trouble for frivolous actions and i mean look who his client well-known client is so yeah she'll find out that's all i'm gonna say she will find out oh and dawn i will welcome you um once the live stream ends i do welcome all the channel members in my own special way once you know, the live stream does end, so. Okay, so let me come on down. <laughs> Church Nelly with the welcome to the asylum. Don't pay her no attention. She She's the head one. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm going to say. She'll admit it, so, you know. All right, let me come on down. The Cyber Raw, hello to you. Uh <laughs> Some of y'all, I, I'm just alert. Uh, 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 no, nope, not touching that one. And I saw that comment with the vid about the vid. I'm just gonna keep on moving. You know, I get into stuff. Cookies and cream. How are you? Hi, and by love wins moment of uh, movement. Excuse me. Yes. All right. We're over an hour. Y'all know how this goes. All righty. Let me see. What is Prudence saying? Those punks can't stand to know where there's no leaks in Montecito. Yes. Not one. Not one. I, I see the Rangers always yelling and screaming about, you know, Megan and the media. And a couple of people have, you know, squaddies. God bless y'all because I can't. I There's times I go to hit reply and then I'm like, why bother? And, uh, you know, most of the squaddies that do reply to them are just basically saying they don't have any contact with the media over there. So you're kind of screaming to the void, but they do believe that they leak. And we're like, uh, no, we don't know when their projects are happening. If that was the case, we would have known about them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Rosalind, Sam, keep messing with the court is going to make her pay those attorney fees years. Cause I understand that piece was not decided. <laughs> and he says, VS, I'm enjoying my time with you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. All right. Everyone's getting ready to go. I got to go. I got to go. I know you all. Hey, coffee, honey. How are you? Woo. <laughs> Foxy's like, scammy lawyer is taking her money or the royal family's money, telling her she can win. But she should have the sense to know that she can't. But again, based on how her, the child that she birthed, because she didn't raise her, um, who is now an adult and explained how she reacted. Yeah, there's the sanity chip is broken in her. So let's just go on with that. Angelique, just tell us how you feel. The top four royals are all adulterers, liars for decades. 
<laughs> you know something we don't know? Because I know at least three of them I could agree with you on, but you said the top four. Ooh, do tell. Maybe not, because we see what happened with the one that passed away recently. All right, I'm going to go on now. Gwen, you're right. Harry and Meghan will do anything to protect their beautiful children. Yes. All right. Church Nelly says, have a great day. All smooches. All right. Whew. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all. Welcome again, Dawn. Thank you for all the love dropped on me, um, for all the super stickers. I see this in, in other chats, and I'm going to start saying this. I pray that what you have given unto me returns to you a thousandfold. All right. All right. So here's the comment, Dolores, you got it for today. The fact that Harry and Meghan love and live together with their children is making them crazy. That's the last comment for the day. I wish you all well. Please take care of yourselves. I will see you around the respective YouTube hallways that I know you from. Take care. Love you all. Bye.